In this video lecture, we will be solving another problem which is related to the symmetry of the networks. So basically, we discussed in the previous video lectures that what is a symmetry and its rules and we also discussed the two types of symmetries. The one is called the vertical symmetry and the other one is called the horizontal symmetry. Now in this video lecture, we have given a problem in which we are asked to find out the equivalent resistance between point A and point B. So now, let first of all analyze this network if there exists a horizontal symmetry in this network. So for that let draw a line which can join these two points A and B. So now if you look at into this network then you will see that there exists a horizontal symmetry in this network. This is a horizontal line because if you rotate this uh, point A and this point B on the anti-clockwise direction by the 45 angles then you will see that this is a horizontal symmetry in this network because this side of the network is the mirror image of this side so we can say that there exists a horizontal symmetry in this network so by using the rules of horizontal symmetry which states that the voltage will be the same at each symmetry point in the horizontal symmetry so let's say this point is point A and this point is point C and this point is point D and this is the common point so let's say this point is point P so if you look at into this network then you will see that this point is the mirror image of this point so we can say that this point will also be point C because we know that from the horizontal symmetry if, if one point is the mirror image of the other point then the potential will also be the same at the symmetry points in the horizontal symmetry so the voltage or the potential will be the same as the potential at this point now the potential at this point will be the same as the potential at this point because these two points are the mirror image of each other. So this point is also be point D. Now if you look at into this network then you will see that these two resistors and these two resistors are connected in series. So the equivalent of these two resistors and these two resistors will be 2R. So let's replace these two resistors and these two resistors by its equivalent resistance its equivalent resistance of 2R and its equivalent resistance of 2R. So now for the simplification purposes, let's redraw this network again. So let's say if this point which represent this point A and this point which represent this point C and this point which represent this point D and this point represent point B and this point, let's say this point represent this point P or this center point. So between point A and C we have this resistor R. Between point A and C we have this resistor R. And in between point A and C this is also point C because these two points are at the same potential. So between point A and C we have another resistor R. Another resistor R. Now between point C and D we have a resistor 2R and in between point C and D we have another resistor 2R because these two points and these two points are at the same potential. So between point C and D we have this resistor which is 2R and between point C and D we have this resistor which is 2R. 2R. Now in between point D and B we have another resistor which is R. Between point D and B we have this resistor which is R. And in between point D and B we have this resistor also. So these two points are at the same potential. So in between point D and B we have another resistor R. So now if you look at again into this network then you will see that in between point C and P we have this resistor R. This resistor R. And in between point C and P we have another resistor which is R. This resistor which is R. Now in between point D and P we have this resistor R. Now in between point D and P we have this resistor R. This resistor which represent R. Now in between point D and P we have this resistor R. This resistor R. So now this is the simplified version of this problem. 
So we can simplify this network by using simply the rules of series circuits and parallel circuit. Now if you look at into this network then you will see that these two resistors are in parallel. These two resistors are in parallel. These two and these two resistors are in parallel. And these two resistors are also in parallel. So the equivalent resistance of these two resistors is let's say 1 divided by R dash is equals to 1 divided by R plus 1 divided by R. Now after calculating this equation you will get R dash from this equation will be equals to R divided by 2. So let's replace these two resistors by its equivalent resistor. So let's say this point is point A. So the equivalent of these two resistors are divided by 2. This is point C. Now this, let's say this is point P. The equivalent of these two resistors will also be R divided by 2 because these two resistors are sharing the same two points so these two resistors are in parallel. So now let's replace these two resistors by its equivalent resistance. These two resistors by its equivalent resistance of R divided by 2. And let's say this point represent the point D. So let's replace these two resistors by its equivalent resistance of R divided by 2 because these two resistors are also in parallel R divided by 2. And these two resistors are also in parallel. So let's say the equivalent of these two resistors is R double dash is equals to 1 divided by 2R plus 1 divided by 2R. So R double dash R, R double dash from this equation will be equals to R. So let's replace these two resistors by its equivalent resistance of R. And let's replace these two resistors by its equivalent resistance of R divided by 2. And this is point B. So if you look at again into this network then you will see that these two resistors are connected in series. So the equivalent of these two resistors is let's say Ra will be equals to R divided by 2 plus R divided by 2. So Ra from this equation will be equals to R. So now let's replace these two resistors by its equivalent resistance of R. Its equivalent resistance of R. So now if you look at again into this network then you will see that these two resistors are connected in parallel. So the equivalent of these two resistors is R divided by 2. So now let's replace these two resistors by its equivalent resistance of R divided by 2. R divided by 2. So now if you look at again into this network then you will see that these three resistors are connected in series. So the equivalent resistance between point A and B will be equals to RAB will be equals to R divided by 2 plus R divided by 2 plus R divided by 2. So the equivalent resistance from this equation will be equals to 3 divided by 2 into R. So this is the equivalent resistance basically between point A and B and we use the rules of horizontal symmetry to solve this network. Now here we have a homework problem for you. Solve the same circuit but by using the rules of a vertical symmetry. So once you have your answer post it into the comment section below. So it's all for today's presentation. If you have any doubt ask in the comment section. See you in the next one.